Hey, this is Jay Goodison from Encodian. So continuing our series on our utility actions, today we're gonna to have a look at get file extension, which does exactly what it says on the tin. It will take a file name and it will return the file extension pertaining to the file name you've passed in. So if you pass in document.docx, you will get docx coming back. Um, I've got a really simple scenario. Uh, that I've got here, I'm gonna accept a manually, well, I'm gonna manually trigger a flow, I'm gonna pass in a file name, so a string now representing the file name, and then we're gonna get the extension and we'll send it back as an email. So let's, let's build that really simple flow just to see how this action works. I can go straight into the encoding connector, just standard connector. I'll just do a search for utility, which will just give me all the utility actions. And then in here, we will have get file extension, so that's the one I would like. Um, I'm simply gonna pass in uh, file name property from the trigger action, so that's that. Um, if I wanted to, I can I can change the case. So by default, it'll send the file extension back as lowercase. Um, but I'm for this example, I'll send it back as upper. Um, and I'm going to send an email. That's what I said, wasn't it? So let's do send email using the notifications connector. Here we go. Send me an email notification. Uh, demo get file extension and we'll just copy and paste that for speed and to use the file extension value that comes back from the action we need to use the result property so utility get file extension result property I'll just pass that in as a dynamic property and that's it so let's give that a test and we'll manually trigger this. And I'll just pop in an example so we can have encoding.pdf and that will send back, um, or that will extract PDF in uppercase because that was the setting that we configured. And you can see in the output, there's the PDF value that's been extracted and there's the email that would have been sent. Now, just to clarify exactly what's happening here, the encoding action is basically substringing from the last period found in the string provided. So to bring that to life a little bit, if I did test and we'll test it again, and I did this is an dot example dot value, we should get back value in upper, uppercase. So let's just try that. And there we go. Okay, so um, hopefully that gives a, a basic guide of how you can use this utility action to get a, a file extension value or if you really wanted to just to get the, the last, uh, the string value that finishes after the last period within the string provided. Um, as ever, if you've got any questions about how to use this particular or any other encoding action, you can email us at supportencoding.com or of course visit the documentation and check out the portal at support.encoding.com.